At first glance, this truck was ready for the scrapyard, and for most people it would have been. But for me, it was perfect because it was pretty much a blank canvas to do whatever I wanted since the truck had no future other than being wildly modified. When I first saw this truck and made the decision to buy it, one of the biggest selling features for me was the sweet patina that was on it. After sitting in a field for many years just rotting away, there was moss growing all over the truck and I fully intended on keeping that moss. I think it would have looked really cool having that old rat rod look with the new custom frame but I never took into account how far this build would go and how bad of a shape the body would actually be. You'll see shortly why I can't keep this old patina but the project will go on and no matter what I'm gonna make sure this truck looks mean. Alright, so today I'm going to start peeling off some paint off the truck. I know a lot of you want me to keep the original paint and the patina and I 100% agree with you guys. But there's one problem, that is that with all the patches that there's going to be, it's not going to leave much original paint anyway. And when it's all patched up like that, it just I don't find it looks too good. So it's all going to have to be stripped down and repainted. Once the truck's all painted white, I'll be able to tell if I'm gonna like it or not at that point. But if I'm not a huge fan of the shiny white, then I can start adding patina around, sanding the paint down, and just making it look the way I want. But that's just something we'll see as we go. It's something to think about, and either way, it's gonna look good. But for now, I'm gonna add some paint remover to the hood, get all that old stuff off, then I'll work my way over to the side and just take off bit by bit all the way around the truck. I'm not sure how this stuff is gonna work. I'm just applying it with a brush. Not gonna put too much since I have to do the whole truck, but I'm hoping it'll work pretty good. So that paint remover seems to work pretty good. You can see that it's pretty much all crinkled up. That's gonna come off pretty easy with the razor blade. That's awesome, it saves me a lot of sanding. We'll see what's underneath all that old paint. I just took off like five pounds of body fill. The door definitely opened too far at some point and it made a nice dent along the side of the door. But for some weird reason, the front fender didn't get any damage. So I assume the front fender has been replaced, but either way, the door has to be fixed. And I'm gonna do that by cutting out the dent and putting a patch.
Now that the door is ready to go, I'm going to move on to the roof. I thought the roof was going to be pretty bad. Once I started peeling off the paint, I saw a little bit of body fill and it got me pretty nervous. But honestly, it looks pretty good. There's not much fixing to do. They had just sanded down a couple spots where it probably had started to rust at some point. The only problem is that now on the edges of the roof, it's starting to rust. There's spots where there's holes. And in the back, the two pieces of metal are starting to come apart. So what I'm going to do now is cut the edges of the roof and peel it off. And I kind of want to see if there's going to be a nest throughout the entire roof. There's still some fixing to do on the roof, but I'm gonna do that in another video. That's gonna be quite a job, but it should be all right. So now I'm gonna put the box back on. I'll put the hood on just to see how it looks with all the bare metal pieces. I think it's gonna be pretty sick. Having it in bare steel just goes to show how far this truck has come from the beginning because all of this was pretty much just holes and dents all over. To me the truck looks insane. I can't believe how it's turning out. It's going to be mind blowing when it's finished. I can definitely see myself driving it and it makes me so excited to keep going on the project to try and reach that goal. And I appreciate all the support from you guys. There's been a lot of good ideas thrown in the comments and I make sure to check them all out. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. I'll be making a lot more and the project is just going to get better from here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.